you doing? Hi, officer. Uh, patrol Taylor, see right, please. Just so you know, my body camera's on. Just your license, registration, insurance. My license is expired. I'm getting a new one because I couldn't get it through COVID. Okay. I will give you if you have the expired one, I'll take that. I do have it. Okay. Sorry, I'm Um, do you know if it's... No, it's valid. It's valid. Yeah, but, it's valid. But it's coming together. The but license. this is just expired? Yeah, they're both... Because of 2020? My house burned down. Yeah, my house burned down and the Where new the ones... Article? No, my house burned down and both of the things are coming in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have your license? I'm not even drunk. He's in you don't have your seatbelt on. Just your license. Uh, I do have my license, but am I going to get like a ticket for it? I mean, it depends not, with how we how we do this. If you're going to be... If I you're going to be, I thought, I thought you were supposed if you're going to, listen, if you're going to be cool and give me your ID, I'm not going to give you a ticket. All right. Yeah, um, I'm sorry. You but, can, you can keep that. Yeah. Right? Um, um, my shoes are okay. Um, reason for the stop. Thank you. Love. I Thank you. Okay. Reason for the stop. Uh, you were kind of in the, you were going over this white line. I'm a few sorry. Times. Cause I don't have a mirror and the okay. mirror broke. Do you have it's okay. kind of hard for me to like, I'm trying to, but I'm waiting for that too. Okay, no because problem. I have a lot of things going on right now and the mirror is coming. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. All right, just give me one minute, all right? All right. Where are you guys coming from today? No, we were just coming from 7 Eleven and we was gonna drive to Five Below. Five Below where? Right here and. Sorry. Okay, um, just from your driving and I smell that odor of alcohol, it could be coming off him. I'm just gonna have you step out, I'm just gonna run you through a few tests, okay. alright? Make sure you're okay to drive. Yeah. You can stand right there. Um, what's your highest level of education? Uh, bachelor's. Bachelor's. Okay. You know the English alphabet? Of A to course. Z. Okay. Uh, without seeing the common song, recite it A to Z. Just like that. Yep. A. A. B. C. D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U E W H R N no W H um Y H C. Okay, um, I'm gonna run you through another test. Just stay right there. You're gonna put your feet to. You. Uh, do you have anything wrong with your legs at all? Oh, uh, I did fall a couple of times and I have some injuries. Um, Especially are the sh okay. Are the shoes gonna affect you at all from I mean, walking you want tests? Me to take you off? Either way, like, um, it's up to you. Okay, it's up to you. Um, so you're gonna keep your hands at your side, feet together. I'm gonna just demonstrate it before you sure. begin. All right. First test, you're gonna raise either foot of your choosing. Approximately six inches off the ground. Okay. You're gonna count out loud one one thousand, two one thousand, until I tell you to stop. Okay. All while looking at your toe I'm and keeping your hands at your side. Can I just open my legs a little bit? Like this. Um. So yeah. So when you, yep. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So one thousand, two. 
I can't. I have less balance on this leg because my left leg is weaker than my right okay. leg. Okay, you could choose. So maybe it should be. This you could choose either leg. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand, ten thousand, eleven thousand, twelve thousand, thirteen thousand, fourteen thousand, fifteen thousand. You can stop. All right, next test I'm gonna uh, just give us one sec. There's people crossing. I'm just gonna move your shoes a little to the side. Yeah. Next test, I'm gonna demonstrate it. Just put your feet together, hands at your side, while I demonstrate. This is called the walk and turn. You're gonna keep your hands at your side. Do steps, heel to toe. Like um, lunges? No. Nope, heel to toe, so. So you're gonna do it like this. Nine steps forward, nine steps back. So one. Right, back to the other. One step, so you're turn around like this. I do nine steps back. So I one, count nine. Two, yep, counting out loud. Keep right, your hands cool. at your side. Nine forward. Nine, and then nine turn back. around slowly. Gotcha. Count on each step out loud. Okay. Maybe we go whenever you wish. You understand the test now? Yes, I do. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 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 I was at Seabright, but then we went to a 7-Eleven to get a charger, and we couldn't find one, so we were driving to Five to get a charger. Where were you at Seabright? At the beach. What part of the beach? Well, we, we checked into the Tiki, but then we went to the beach. Because obviously the Tiki is just like one thing, but then the sun came out, it was raining before, and then we just decided we could go to the beach. Okay. Um, how many drinks have you had today? Uh, I have like one. But then that was it because obviously we know that we can't drink no more and, and we was going to watch the fireworks. However, we needed a charger so we decided to leave get the charger. But the, they said that we could watch the fireworks from Long Branch. Perhaps that way because they come from this way. Okay. So, you know. Like, what drink did you have? I had, um, it was just vodka and cranberry. Okay. Where, uh, where are you guys from? I'm from. Well, not now. We were going to go after the fireworks, like, uh, after the whole show. Not now. We just came to get a charger, literally, because we didn't have one. So, like, my charger stopped working. I needed one. I went to 7-Eleven to get one, and we couldn't find one. So, it says five below. is like, less than a few miles, so we decided to go there. But it's not, like, you know, like, we're just going back home and just hanging out here for the meantime. And so. Okay. Uh, you can put your shoes back on. Oh, thank you. All right, uh, I'm just gonna have you turn around. Do you have a bathing suit under that? Yes, or is I it? Do. Okay. Just put your hands behind your back. Yep. Your hand comfy? Yes. So you're being placed for under the arrest for driving while intoxicated. Why would you tell me that after? Okay, just. So who would take my car? It's getting towed. It's the law to get towed. Can I call somebody? Uh, it still gets towed for 12 hours. I'm sorry? It still gets towed. Uh, just loosen up your hand. Just give me one sec. Yeah, so you could get, yeah. So when we finish, yeah, so we, when we finish processing you. Can I, can I talk to him? So that he could like. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. Hold on, hold on. He's saying that I'm getting um, 
like arrested for driving intoxicated? Can you call Martha and Cindy? That's, that's what I was calling. I called Shane. He nice. Call we'll, Martha. I don't know. We'll, we'll grab your phone and your wallet. Hey, and your, what's and her yeah, number? Please. What's her number? Do you know her number? Yeah, my phone. Please. Um, open. I don't have the code. No, I don't have the Okay. Uh, what, what's her number? So, um, where is she? This one? Yeah, this one? Yeah, for Huh? Memorial Day weekend? No, I, I want to know. Were you here Memorial Day weekend? Yeah. Yeah, he was. I just got here. No, were you here in yeah. Memorial Day weekend? No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you were. You I look like a lot of people. Remember you? You don't remember us? But, like, why yeah, would you, like, day. arrest me? Like, wait, I'm wait, not, yeah, yeah. Like, you could take my car. Here? You could give me a ticket. But, like, why would you, like, arrest me? I'm not doing anything. We're just going to walk to the car. Like, that's just... Can you tell me why besides... Like so from your think? test, we concluded that you were driving, huh? Okay. Yeah, you could just talk to me. I just want him to call someone. We're gonna grab your phone. Do you need yeah, anything no. else? Your, um, your no, he has my wallet. Do I need anything else besides him uh, having my wallet and my phone? I have it. Yeah, it is. I have it. Okay. No, I'm talking before I go in there because it's super hot. So like before we leave. Uh, the AC's on in there. Oh. Do you have another question? Uh, yeah, like um, you could you could well, you could take me or whatever. But are you gonna release me? I don't live around here. So and he and he can't drive my car, but somebody else could come pick up my car. So so just like, let me know what is the procedure. Sure. So, like, so he knows. okay, I'll tell you. And he he's telling him right now. Um, so the car will get towed. Um, for twelve hours, you can pick it up twelve hours from now. Even though I'm not a driver. Yeah. Um, it's just the law. Um, and then when we're done processing you. You could call whoever you want, and they could come pick you up. They do have to be sober, but right. whenever, whenever that person. Can person's I just make sure that he's gonna call him? Because I don't know if he's really. He gonna... is, and we'll grab your phone for you. Can so you, you ask can... him again? Please oh, ask him, please. Is, is he yeah, but he's not driving. No, 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 I know. So you're just okay. here. Get in the car. We'll we'll uh, figure it all out. Can you can you just make sure he's gonna call somebody? Because I don't know if. Yeah, he is. and we'll grab your phone so you could call as well. Oh, okay. As All long right. as you grab my phone, but can you make him grab the number? I know, I know. Let me stay with your phone because I'm going to do everything in my power to get you out of here. I need to know your code because if it locks, then I'm I'm stranded. Can you do me a favor? Can What's you your code? You got Martha's number. That's the only person you need to I call. I don't have her number. Take it down. I'm calling her. She's not picking up. Text none, of, none of your friends are picking up. I'm here. But what um, can I really do? Nothing. Just wait. Please leave your message. Text her. Who should I call? No, no. Think about it. Think rationally. Well, we'll take her phone so she can call. At I kind of personally don't want you But where would you take, take, okay. him? But where would you take him? Me? Will you? I'm good. No, they're going to take my car. I know. So and I'm a wild. And, I, and I'll, I'll, I'll make my way. To, I'll call an Uber to the precinct. Well, they give you a ride. But where's the precinct? Could you give me a ride to the precinct? Here, I'm going to. Thank you. I'm going to. I'm not. Will you, will you, wait, can you do me a favor? It's good things I was I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you one thing. My friend I said, need to know that, your he code, said though. that he was a good shooter, right? This was during the NBA well, playoffs. Exactly about, yes, yeah. I know. That's but he was talking about the NBA playoffs, not because yes, he's a shooter. And I told him that was very stereotyped because he was Did black, African-American. No, he wasn't. He was Spanish. No. Uh, 43 won in A-County. But he's yellow bone. So, so, so my question is, why are you having to do with this though? Because I'm going to have a female for you. Hold on, so I'm pushing so hard. So you go ahead and do it. Yes, I do. I can technically be Caucasian, but I can't watch basketball and be a basketball fan. Yes, and he can That's technically be African American and say that he's a shooter remember, without that? people thinking he's an actual shooter. Exam, I No, remember, I took it. You, yeah, I but why did you take mine? Or, because uh, I didn't do nothing wrong. I told you you didn't have a seatbelt on. Oh, my bad. My bad. Alright, take, take, you want to ride back, right? Yeah. I literally went to get a charger from across the street and I couldn't pop a U-turn so I went around. 43198 County. Can you tell me what part of the test I didn't pass? Give me one sec. Transporting one female, 41 to headquarters, starting mileage, 20570.7. Yo, I need to know where your password is! Yeah.
Happy birthday! It's her birthday! How am I gonna help you if I don't know your password? Happy birthday! It's her birthday! Her birthday? I don't know her birthday. What is it? Six? Oh six two eight two eight eight five. Oh six two eight two eight five? No, oh six two eight eight five. Oh six two eight eight five. Oh six two eight eight five. Write it down in your notes. Ah uh, yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even drunk. This is very disputable, right? Excuse me? Meaning? I can go to court. Yeah, so you'll have a mandatory court date. It'll be on... This is, this is insane. You know why? Because I needed to get a sheet to get a charge. And I couldn't pop a U-turn because I didn't want to do anything. So I went around. Okay. And I don't know the question. 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 Ocean I don't have to pay the keys to put my car out. And then you keep it in my car for 12 hours and they charge per day. And I don't live nowhere near here. I live super far. Super, super, super. super. How far is your reason from here? Uh it's about two minutes down the road. And who's gonna process me? You guys and give me an R O R O R? Um, so we're just gonna process you, you get issued summonses, and then you get released if someone can right, pick you up. Well someone has to sign for you and pick right, you up. That means I have to sign a car for a towing. What if I don't have the money for the towing? How am I supposed to get home? So you'd have to wait 12 hours anyway. Right, but that means I have to pay for 12 hours. And I have to pay for the social. What if I don't have that type of money? Like, I get it, you go to court, guilty until proven innocent. However, when you're not guilty, and you're still proven innocent, nobody pays for your expenses. And they I have um Toyota here, but Toyota is not gonna take my car up and impound if it was through the police. And if I'm so drunk, why would I rationalize like this? It's so unfair. Seriously, you guys have nobody to pick up. And you must be extremely bored and sober. Thank you. Um, so your car gets stored in the next town over. What is that town? Highlands. And how much is your storage? You know? I'm not sure. 43, 198 County, ending mileage 205-71.9. Uh, 71.9 I have your wallet as well. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you've come this way. Right. You know what's the lesson that they don't come to see, right? Because my friend, he got arrested the other day. I'm mean, the guy that you guys were talking about. Because he said he was a shooter and he was talking about the NBA playoffs. 
And he really got stereotyped because he's an African American white looking male. And that is a fact. And look what he said. He said he's not African American. He is a hundred percent African American. He just has light hair and light eyes. He's a yellow bone African American. And he got stereotyped because he said he was a shooter. And they didn't know that he was talking about being an NBA shooter. Like, oh my god, I'm a three point shooter. And they took it as he's a shooter, like a real shooter. No. Just because he mentioned that. No, I was there though. That's not how it went. Um, I'm just gonna have you sit down on the bench. Right here. Oh, you can twirl myself. Yep. Are you left hand or right hand? Right hand. That's just insane. And you know what I told you? I was like, oh, you should, you should, you should put, you should get a lawyer and you should dispute that out of racial profile. Because if a white person would have said that, it would have looked at it like that. And I want to know if, if, if and I'm not a racial person, and I work, I'm actually, I work in the county of my county in the courthouse, and I want to know if. A white person would have pulled up that way if you guys would have did that because now this is like a second type of stereotype situation with the same people. It could have been that you recognized us that we was with him and pulled us over knowing that. I didn't know that. You didn't know that, but your co worker did. And he was the one placing it. He wasn't there. Which but... makes it biased. Mm -hmm. And that could be proven in court. And you know that. Which is weird. Like, how is it that the same person that racially profiled my friend and could recognize us because he got racially profiled, recognize us and then try to charge us with another charge in the same time? Can you exit out of your thing? Yeah. Thanks. And I want everybody's name before I get released. Sure. Thank you. I just have to read you a few things. First thing is your Miranda warning. I'll give you one yes, I know. while I read it. Yeah. Okay. Um, number one, you have the right to remain silent or refuse to answer any of my questions. Number two, anything you say may be used against you in the court of law. You have a right to consult with an attorney at any time and have him present before and during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. If so, desire to prior questioning. A decision to waive these rights is not final and may withdraw your waiver whenever you wish, either before or during questioning. Thank you. Will you sign that you acknowledge? I'm not signing anything here. Okay. Thank you. Processing is still the same whether you sign or you don't sign, or is it a different processing if what? you sign or you don't sign? Uh, it doesn't, it's either it way. It doesn't yeah. create a situation. Um, Thank you. Yep. Okay, this is the next thing I just read for you. You have been arrested for driving while intoxicated, NJSA 39 4 50. The law requires you to submit samples of your breath for the purpose of testing to determine alcohol. I take, I take the breathalyzer. Okay, I'm just going to read this and then... A record of the taking of the breath samples, including the test results, will be made. Upon your request, a copy of that record will be available to you. If you have provided, if you have provided samples of your breath for testing, you have the right at your own expense to have a person or physician of your own selection take independent samples of your breath, blood, or urine for independent testing. If you refuse to provide samples of your breath, it will, you will be issued a separate summons for the refusal. A court may find you guilty of both refusal and driving while intoxicated. And so, I feel like this was racially profiled based on my friend the last time. If a court finds you guilty of the refusal, you will be subject to various penalties including license, it's revocation. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. okay, I'm just going to read the rest of this. I only have three more. Up to 20 years of fine, up to $2,000, cancellation of ignition, interlock, and referral to a intoxicated driver resource center. These penalties yeah. may be in addition to penalties imposed by the court for any other offense I'm, of which I'm, you are found guilty. I'm confident that no. Okay. Thank you. you have no legal right to have an attorney, physician, or anyone else present for the purpose of taking the breath samples. You have no legal right to refuse to give or delay giving samples of your breath. Any response from you that is conditional in any respect may to may to my request that you provide breath samples 
will be treated as a refusal to submit breath testing. No, it doesn't matter because I if, think I was racially profiled here. If so you, even if you agree to take the test but do not follow my instructions, do not properly perform the test, or do not provide sufficient breath samples, I will charge you a refusal to submit to breath testing. Okay. The law requires you to submit samples of your breath for testing. Will you submit the samples of your breath? That's okay. I, I feel like I was usually performed, and I don't think I performed the test wrong. And I also feel like the fact that your officer, and if he has a body cam, it will show that he even recognized us and said that he recognized us from over the weekend. And I, I wasn't even like, next to that scenario, but the fact that he said that is enough for me to feel like I was profiled. Thank you. Uh, I just have one more thing. Your answer is not acceptable. The law requires you to submit samples of your breath for breath testing. If you do not answer or answer with anything other than yes, I will charge you with refusal. Now I ask again, will you submit to breath testing? You're going to charge me with refusal? Does that mean that you keep me in here more? Or does that mean that you give me a summons it's, to be... Uh, it's, a, it's another charge. Uh, it's okay. You could charge me with refusal. Thank you. Does your office have a body cam? He does, yes. Okay. We all do. And you guys will submit the body cam for the evidence of... Yes, you just have to request it. No, I will. Yep. And this will be a court date here in Seabrook, or you guys have a court date um, down the shore? It's, it's down in Oceanport. It's about three towns over. Okay, so it's next deeper. to Long Branch. It's deeper. Yeah, it's next to Long Branch. Oh. So you recommend I get an attorney that like, works up here? Because it's going to be um, it's, Or do you guys still do virtual court? So I believe the first hearing is virtual, and then... The next one is in person? Yeah. So it should be better if that's someone. And on the paperwork, you could meet the court hearing will be um, placed on this paperwork? Yes. Or it'll be mailed to me? It'll be on the... Okay. Yep. So it's like an ROR here. Um, no, it's just a traffic ticket. It's a traffic ticket. And then it'll have the court date and the uh, phone number. You and if I get an attorney, then the attorney will mm -hmm. work the court date. Yeah, I believe if you can't make that, you could just contact the court. Okay, no problem. Thank you.
And the days that you guys told the car to, can I go get stuff out of my car before I go home? Um, I'll give you their phone number. You can call them. And, and they will answer today, even though it's the 4th of July. Yeah, they're still working. I'm not positive if they will let you get this stuff out. No, I, think I just need to get my car, my house keys to go home. It, is it on the on your key? It's chain? in my car. No. Okay. So I'm to What if you have somebody to drive the vehicle? They don't release them to? No. So it would have to be in 12 hours. Even though it's somebody else who's a registered driver and... Yeah. And 12 hours from now is what time? Like it's 6, uh, 7? Yeah. So around 6, 6, 15 a.m. you could pick it up. And do you know their charges? The charges? Yeah. So I know they charge a tow charge on top of a uh, charge. Mm -hmm. So I'm writing you for marked lanes, which is why I stopped you, as well as tailgating. You were tailgating as well. So uh, those are two traffic tickets. It's all traffic tickets. Mm -hmm. The refusal, DWI, um, and then reckless and careless driving. I don't even charge the same thing twice. Uh, reckless and careless. Or reckless and careless is one marketing and um, tailgating is considered careless driving, so it would be a ticket for the both things. It, it's kind of getting ticketed twice for the same thing, so that when I go to court, I can pick and choose which one I want to pick. Do you have a phone number? Yes. Thank you. Do you have an email address so the court could? Yes. OK. Um A Yahoo, you said? Hotmail. Hotmail? Yeah. And it's? Uh, can you grab my ticket book? Where is it? It's in my car. Uh, and, yeah. So wherever the car stood at, they just can get it and it stays at and we're just released here. Yes. So it stays in their lot and then um, after 12 hours you have to come back here. Mm -hmm. We print you out a piece of paper saying we're releasing the car. And um, then and you put the paper over there. I don't them. know. What is the name? Can I get the name of the towing company and sure. the phone number? Thank you. And they uh, no, that's good. Thanks. Uh, if they, I'm pretty sure it's charge for them. I'm not sure. No, they, they yeah, have but I'm not sure which. No, you don't know the price, but they have a storage price per day. And plus the towing charge, whatever they charge to tow the place. But you're saying it's only three times over, so it's not too much.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, what's your occupation? Um, court liaison. Are you sick? Huh? Are you sick? No. No. Are you under the care of a doctor? Mm, no, just like a regular primary doctor. No. Okay. Are you taking any medication? No. Do you have diabetes or taking insulin? No. No. Are you injured at all? Uh, I have. Uh, I am injured. I have. Your shoulder, right? Shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder, left leg, right leg. I got into several car accidents, so I've taken um, physical therapy. Um, I've had surgery. And I've had. Um, um, what are they called? The, the shots. It's like the neck okay. and the back. Yeah. No, it's like, um, okay. Yeah, no, you go outside. 
Tomorrow. You can come pick it up tomorrow morning by 6 a.m. Yeah, that's what she said. Uh, but no. obviously, the amount of work. And I just need to draw the message for this machine. What is the time of the late close? Because uh, I, I literally work from 8.30 to 4.30. We so, can, as soon as you come to. And I can pay over the phone, but most likely, I'll be here Thursday. Because. Today was a holiday, and I'm not going to get paid today. I'm going to get paid tomorrow night. Okay. So that's when I get paid, and I can come put on my car. It will be Thursday. Okay. So regardless of what time you come. Mm -hmm. They charge per day. They, yeah, that, that's separate from us. We don't get any of right. that stuff. Right. So what we do is we call them up and be like, hey, listen, this person is coming to get their vehicle, so they'll man the yard. They'll have somebody here. Exactly. Yeah, because I, I really don't have nobody to bring me here until after people get out of work. I got you. You still have body cameras on or no? No, because I'm right. just doing it. Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, he's still here, so he didn't leave you. Um, there you go. Listen, no offense to anybody, but I, I will blatantly say this. Um, it's just crazy how like you pull people. I, I literally have a missing mirror. So obviously, you know I can't see on the left side where the lines are, which is like already like a red flag towards your judgment, which obviously you guys have a judgment as police officers, what you do because you're looking from the back. You're not looking through any other direction. You're looking from behind and that's how it looks like from behind. That's one. Two, the fact that you even said that you recognized us. No, well, not me, him. him, not me, but you recognized him from Memorial Day weekend, which means that you, that there's already like a, no. that's weird. I didn't recognize Not him. Not my friend until, who got stopped. Yeah, I didn't recognize him until he opened his mouth yeah. and started talking to him. Not me. my friend that got stopped, the guy, he is not Spanish. He is not Puerto Rican. He is not so Spanish. He, he is black. He got arrested here. Yeah. He got arrested yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. And he had to get bailed out. Right. But he's not Puerto Rican. He's he not white. Stopped. He is African American. Well, and the fact like it, it we also got like, a call about and him. this and this just sounded crazy to, yeah because the person who made the call was caucasian okay. and like I, and no offense to anybody i work in the court system myself yes. i'm just gonna be honest with you. i just feel like I mean, even I, when I, he I mean, told I, me the story i mean I, I even when I he told me the story owe you any explanation. No, you I, i'll explain this to you none of my friends anybody i hang out with look like me not one no, single agreed. one none of them Okay, and I have brothers and sisters that are five shades darker than you. Right. So do not assume. But this was a conversation. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not even talking so, about like today. Before I even like before you even stop me, this was a conversation that we had on Memorial Day weekend, and I told him like honestly, Shane, and I'm saying his name because yeah, he's Shane. Like yeah. Shane, honestly, Shane, I feel like you got racially profiled because I think that if a Caucasian person would have said that, nobody would have thought that he was a shooter. They only thought that he was a shooter because he said, oh, I will shoot. But it was during the NBA playoffs and he was talking about the shooting in the game and they honestly racially profiled because he looks mixed race. No, you don't even, you don't even know the full story. How many times That's the story. Down? That's the story. Yeah, you, you, you weren't told the real story. Yeah. We, 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 were, we were trying to get them out of town from 4 o'clock all the way to So why you guys going to try to get me out of town, quote unquote? Because what he was doing, let me tell you something. He was somebody, driving. somebody, somebody, Again, um, somebody think, missing a yellow line versus somebody saying that they're going to shoot people. No, shoot he didn't people. say It's kind of like, if, if I didn't thought somebody was going to shoot somebody, he, he, I'd be scared for my life. He didn't say any of that stuff. He, he, he got to an argument with a bouncer and was told to leave the bar. But that they said it. because the person who saw him said that they say yeah, they, they heard him say he that he was a shooter. Up. He didn't get locked up here for a few hours. He called us to come get him. Yeah, he didn't get locked up for that. He didn't get locked up for anything. He got locked up for like two hours later for something else. So I had nothing to do with any of that situation. No, not at all. I promise you. We tried multiple times. I tried to get him out of this town forever. I was like, just go home.
I don't know. That, that's I'll what be, I'll, like, I'll, I'll that's what made it sound. Yeah, and they, honestly, like, even that day, because I'll recall and I remember when you mentioned that name, I said, listen, if I was you, I would fight those tickets on the racial profiling because there's no way that people will say that I'm a shooter. And it only looks yeah, like I'm a shooter because Miss, I'm mixed race. Miss, he didn't get a ticket. He got tickets for peeing. They were going back and forth. No, no, he. They, they could have left at on. the beginning. He, he, he could have left. We they let them leave. Yeah, we let them leave. Like, we didn't get nothing. They like, did. We told them to get in the car, and leave. Right. And then someone peed right, right by the 7 Eleven out in public, showing yeah. everything while he was peeing. And, and they stole from 7 Eleven, supposedly. Oh, actually, I, I, don't, I know nothing of that. And then. And then he was peeing later on the side of the highway. But, but my question... No, so that's it. Now, now I'm going to say all of that, right? I don't have a mirror. I went on the yellow line a little bit. And all of a sudden... It was the white line on your passenger side. Right. That's and all, and all of a sudden... You have... I'm more... I'm, I'm, I'm held more accountable than people that are having a whole ruckus in your town. So, plain and simple, he, he had some things outstanding that he had to take care of outside of the Outside of whatever you guys charged him. We didn't we charge him. We didn't charge him. We gave him a ticket. He, he got stuff that he had to take care of other, from other towns. So, whatever he told you was completely fabricated. I don't know. I, I, didn't I, come, I, we, didn't come I get, we didn't come get him because we lived too far. No, to be honest. I was here with him. And then, whoever came and got him, they paid an Uber. To come here, he paid two hundred and fifty dollars to get Uber to come get here, to come get his car, to come now, get. I have a question. Him. Did he tell you that I got him taken care of out of five out of the six towns that he no. never paid nothing? No, he never. And, and I talked. To I'm telling you, we're just speaking about whatever happened. Here. I, I know. I'm just telling you. That I'm not. Like, I'm not. So, I'm not going about them. But, I'm just saying. I just feel some type of way because, like, like I said, I have a missing mirror. I literally went to 7 Eleven. I was going to the block. That could happen to anybody. And For the sure. fact, like, it, it, it's just crazy because there's people here committing way bigger crimes and doing way things that are more skeptical that get charged with way less. Like, and it's just crazy. I mean, that's, and that's... I know you guys know that. And I know you guys know that. But I hope that you guys also know that as much as you know that your judgment is based on that, that you know that you are making people's lives way harder. And that the judicial system is, is crazy. No, I, I don't have either, and, and I know that all of, all of you guys know that. It's just crazy. I don't, and I don't want to say nothing more, but that situation with Shane was crazy because that day he just made it seem that it was very, like, very profound. No, believe me. Not at all. Valid driver's license? That one's expired. It's expired. Yes, it is valid. I ordered a new one and then no, it's not working. It won't scan. That's why. Yeah, you know what uh, happened? I'll, I'll take care of it. I had a fire in my house and my um papers. Oh, right. sorry. No, it's fine. I it's my fault. I should have read it before I scan. I need to take number 10. What's your age, Miss? 30. Um, 38. My birthday was a few days ago. I just have a few more questions for you. Sure. Uh, what kind of alcoholic drinks have you had? 
Um, I just had a cup of vodka with um, pineapple. And it was one cup. Where? Um, at Seabird. At the Donovan Street. What was the time between each drink? There was no each drink. I had just gotten there. Right. And I could prove that because I took the money out of my When did you have your first drink? Um, if I can go back to Cash Up and tell you on Cash Up. On top of that, and I'm going to be honest with you, I had, um, what is it called? The gastric sleeve. So obviously my stomach is a lot smaller than other people. So what made me seem to somebody else, like a lot more to me is not. I got you. Maybe I found that was going to Uh, 23 SBY. And, and I'll tell you right Zero now the time. Mm -hmm. five, two, I'll tell you right now the, the time of my ATM withdrawal because, um, let me see. It had to be like maybe 5, 30, 6 o'clock between those times because I can't see the exact time. But it wasn't too far away from the time. Because I didn't even finish my drink. I literally, we went to go get a charger. Hey, yeah. oh me? Yeah. Um, our our vape mm -hmm. ran out of charge, so we went outside to go see if we had a charger compatible. We didn't, so we went to Seven Eleven to see if we had a charger that we could buy there. But he was charging fourteen dollars for the charger, so right below was down the block. So we decided to go drive. Well, not on the block. It was like less than a few miles. So we decided to go to five below. Okay. And that's when you stopped this. Um, just another question. Oh. When did you finish your last drink? I didn't finish it. All right. Uh, time. Yeah. What time did you finish eating today? Um, if we were here like around five or six, maybe like around three. 34, like around 3 30, I would say. 3 30. And I had, you want to know what I had? Yeah, what did you eat? I had a Blinkley's Kids Meal because I can't finish a whole meal. Oh, what? Sorry. A Blinkley's Kids Meal? I can't finish a whole meal. I told you I had a gastric meal okay. a few years ago, so I can't finish a whole meal. So I had a Blinkley's Kids Meal, which is like a turkey with permalone, mayonnaise, lettuce, no tomato, a few onions, oil, vinegar and salt no pepper no salt and i had that with um a water and a bag of doritos cool ranch no right in the middle Can I call when I'm in here? Should I do 50 points here? Yeah, that's all. 50 points here. Okay. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. 
I did four. Which one? Yeah, four. Four A or just point two? Four A should be utilized. Is there? But not point two. Four A should be utilized. Okay. Did you write that one yet? made a phone call to anybody yet? No. Is there anybody that you know that can come sign for you? No. I don't need to sign. Because you've been drinking. Right. We cannot release you to anybody just like a, a Uber or anything like that. We have to have somebody. I'm not, I'm not going nowhere. I don't have a car. I don't even I, have I that. understand that. Just let me finish. Oh, um, you have to have somebody sign for you that's going to make sure you don't drive for 12 hours. I'm not. I, I understand I, that. I have to take a train home. Well, I, it's we either it's either someone picks you up and sure. signs for you, or you sit here for twelve hours until you're sober. But this, this so, doesn't mean I could release my car because I don't have the money to release my car here. Like I should have to go home. It's either you get a ride. So Fab can't sign for you. He's, he's been, not. He's been, drinking. he's been drinking. Yeah, but he's not intoxicated. He's mm -hmm. been drinking. So, so the thing is, is you have to have someone at the table to take the, the legal liability for you. And we can't allow someone to drink the sign for you. Mm -hmm. Like I said, he said from the beginning, I would have called. He said he had someone coming. I don't know that. I didn't call him at all. No, I didn't call him because I don't think I need to call anybody. Yeah. So I call him now. I was just waiting to get to do something. Right? Not like anybody could come rescue me. Listen, we live like two hours away, we don't live close. I got you. And, and I'm not driving nowhere. I understand that. You want to put like a DCS on me? You can. No, I don't want to DCS on you. But like, I'm not, I'm, I can't go anywhere. I don't have a car, I don't have a vehicle, I, I can't even drive anywhere. I understand. You guys have my car, you guys have my license, you guys have It's not us doing it. It's, 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 it's not us doing it. It's. <laughs> But you are the rules aware of regulations that we have to follow. But you are aware of that, right? I am well aware of that. So, like I said, he. Where, where am I going to go? I would like you to go. I can't. To your house. But I can't go to my house until somebody comes and picks me up here because I'm so far away. Please, and I can't afford the Uber because the Uber is like a hundred and something dollars. Or you have to sign. sit here for twelve hours. Yeah. No, but I don't have nobody to come get me. I really don't. Let's see where he's at. He he he's not driving. He doesn't have a car with him or nothing. So how how can he take me or how can I drive a car if he doesn't even have one? He was calling somebody and they were supposed to be. Yeah, here. but they're not. I'm calling them. Whatever he called from here, I'm calling them. They're not answering. So like, either I'm sitting here for twelve hours, okay. or like. I don't know what to do. I don't have. I have minor children. Like who's coming to get me? Hello. They, they, they want. I'm inside, but they want somebody to come sign for me to release me because they won't release me to you because. They said that you were drinking too, so like, who's gonna come release me from here? If not, I'm stuck here for 12 hours, and if they want me to be stuck here, like, there's nothing. I don't have nobody to come get me. 
Nobody's gonna come over here to get me. What? Nobody's answering right now. Nobody. I didn't even do anything. Yeah, but I'm not even taking, I could go home, I could go home right now, I'm not taking my car because I'm wearing my clothes. I can't take a train on it. It's just... You have to wait 12 hours. I know, but like, that's if my car was released. My car's not released, I can't, no, I can't still, drive it's nowhere. It's the rules. Like, that, that's just insane. Who, how am I going to get someone to come get me? Um, you gotta pull well, we're so far. Like, if I was like, the three miles from my house, absolutely. Fabian said he had somebody coming. They're not, though. They live in... Where am I far from our home? It's not, it's not, it's not like that. If it was like that, they would have been here already. They said 40 minutes and that was like 20 minutes ago. But they're not answering, which means that they're not coming. Well, do you know who he called? I'm looking at my phone and I'm calling the people that he called. No, he called them off of his phone. No, but off of these numbers. From my phone. I thought he, he was using his phone. From my numbers. I gave him the code in front of her from my phone. Right, but then still, 
I can stay here for 12 hours, but I have no money to go home. And I still have no car to move. So, nobody so that, pick you up in 12 no, hours no, no, who? I have well, little kids. For, uh, I have kids. Hours. I have kids. Like, you can get how? released at, in 12 how? hours. How? 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 God, how? How? You can get released in 12 hours. Like, You'd be here for 12 hours and then you get released. This is crazy. This is crazy. I don't even have the money to pay an attorney, but I will pay the attorney just to fucking fuck the shit up. Just because, like, this, this is insane. This is crazy. You guys even know that I'm not intoxicated to a point where I had more than one drink. I know you guys know that.
got it. You said you're 38? Mm-hmm. What's the address here? 1099 East Ocean Ave. 1099? 1099 East Ocean.
Did she leave it or not? No, she just went upstairs. Can you guys have a restroom here? Yeah. It's a cell. It's cool. Alright. Alright. Um, I think we're just going to have to. I could use the eyes. Either one. I mean, the second one might be better. I would use the second one. Just so you.
You said that, sir? 
You said that to her? Wait, you said that? You said that to Cindy? You said that to Cindy? Chinese, there is your one five eight, Shelly Tana. Why you said that? But what did Manny say? As a spoon. because I don't think we could afford to spend $14 on a charger to have to go like buy food and go somewhere else. I didn't think about it. So, no. But I wasn't, I wasn't thinking that something so stupid was going to happen. There was nothing going on though. That's the whole thing. I mean, they always have time. No, I'm still gonna say no. I don't care. I don't care. I don't even. I don't even know if they have one bunch. According, according, according to the law, bro. According to the law, and the law is for everybody. No, I don't care. There's no way that I could sit here, have conversations, talk about finances, talk about money, talk about everything. I suppose the young man, no, 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 no. There's no way that, that somebody could bring on my friend that was here like a month ago. It, 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 it just doesn't coincide to me. They brought you up and shame them. Not whatever. But what I'm saying is that this. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, both. Yeah. So, so my. Oh, agreed, right? So, so my my thing is like, how is it that you're not cool with everybody, right? And there's real 
shit going on and because I went over a line and I have a missing mirror, you're going to stop me and then, no, 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 no. It, it, it's, it's crazy and I'm going to sit there and I'm going to like buy myself over a thousand. But, He's coming? Supposedly. Supposedly. Because Does I, he know how far he is? He said like 45 minutes like a while ago. But I don't know. You if, said he is or is that who's outside? No, 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 it's not someone who's outside. Supposedly that he's, he said he's coming. 45 minutes away. So I'm just trying to make sure. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. Same. Hold on, give me a second. Hold on. If nobody comes, I really stay here staying for 12 hours. Ah, uh, you're going to sell. Is he still here? Yeah, sure. He's expired. That's why I carried the passport. Yeah. I didn't want to just carry one for my right teeth. You know, my house keys, everything is in that car. Is there any way I can go to that car and take stuff out? 
Um, I can give you the phone number. I know it's already 8 p.m., so I'm not sure if they're in. It might be closed, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. Fucking here, stuck. Sit. Can, can you use something? Somebody's picking me up, bro. I'm good. I'm going home. You can stay. No, you can stay here. You can stay here. Mm -hmm. you're, you're very entertaining. Are you? You sound very entertaining. Okay, so you stay over there. But yeah, but why? But, but his friend is locked up in Donovan's room in Zebra. Let me see. I didn't get any. I didn't get anything. Can you send me the money? I didn't get shit. No. No, you didn't. Oh, I got it back now. Thank you. I'm going home, Pa. Manny, Manny's picking me up and I'm going home. Thank you. You can stay here with your young friends. Now. You seem like you seem you, you seem like you're having a great time. You can find one of them to take me. Right, I'll pick you up tomorrow when I come get my car. Yeah. You seem like you're having a great time. You have no problem.
man, how far are you now? 13 minutes? Okay, okay. I'm here. Just let me know when you're outside. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, like right by next to the parking lot across the street from 7-Eleven. All right. Hello. Yeah. No. I don't. So, uh, I have, I have to be at work at eight thirty in the morning. Man is thirteen minutes away. As his brother, he's coming to get me. All he needs to do, all he needs to do is just come get me out of here and then I will figure out. Doesn't work, it doesn't matter, I'll get somebody to bring me here tomorrow. That's not the point. My point is getting from here to Fairview to your house. That's it. Where there's an actual vehicle. Can I get out of here first? But first, I need to get out of here. What do you want me to do from somewhere where I have no control and no power over anything? I need to, like... But, but, I put it where I get to, but... Yeah, I have nothing else to say right now. I just, I can't. But I'm thinking for both of us right now, and you're just coming at me. in the morning exactly when they release the car. Um, can you give me the name of the place so at least I can call and try yep. to find out their uh, it's now? right there. And 6 a.m. you could pick it up. No, I know, but what time do they open? Because the, the 6 a.m. is when they are eligible um, for release, but not the time that they open up their place. And it says release by appointment. Uh, I would I would give them a call. Uh, it says they're closed right now. Uh, Nine a.m. They open. To what time? Does it say that? Hi. Good afternoon. What are your operating hours tomorrow? Okay. It says by appointment. Is there any way to make an appointment by like six p.m.? To pick up a car? Yeah. Because I get out of work. You have a pen? Because I get out of work at 4.30 p.m. And I need to drive from where I'm located to here. It's okay. It was towed from Seabright, New Jersey. And it was towed to your place. It's a, a Toyota Camry. License plate G89PE. And on uh, under the name. And what is and what is okay? What is the process for me to take out the vehicle? How do I get a release from them? Do you know what are the requirements? Check your screen. You don't know. 
Okay, so it's a release from them and then what else? When you come here tomorrow, um, they'll just ask for your driver's license. That one's fine. Um, and then they will give you, they'll print you out a piece of paper, and then you actually have to bring that piece of paper to the tow yard. And if I stay here till 6 in the morning, mm -hmm. then I can get that piece of paper at 6 in the morning. Yep. And essentially, anything, anytime just after 6 a.m. And then just come back to pick up the car without having to do all this. Yeah, any, any time after 6 a.m. So basically, if I stay here at Seabright, I could come at 6 a.m. with my license, get the mm -hmm. paper, and then just come back and just get the car with the money. Right. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I should ask them if they take credit cards. I'm gonna call them back. I believe they do. I'm not sure, actually. I would call them back. Mm -hmm. No, he will call me. We need to have a hotel to run. There's one um, in Seabright. It's probably. Is it walkable? Um. I'll see you here right now. Dollar General, like a dollar tree. 
Uh, not in Cedar Bray. What are you looking for? A Dollar Tree. Or anything where I could get a little quill or a blanket. Even if I have to leave. I, I don't feel like I need to go home to come back here to try to go. It's just too much money. You're looking for what? Like a Dollar General. Like a dollar store. The one dollar yes. trees out by 36 in West Long Branch. Right by the Home Depot. I don't it's know if it's a dollar far. tree. It's far. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, I live like eight miles away from here. Well, no, but I think she's like walking. Oh, yeah, to yeah, walking the hotel. Yeah. The double tree, you mean? No, because the hotel here, he said it's full capacity and that it's 300 and I don't know something or whatever. And then what am I supposed to do? Like, I'm going to go home and I'm going to get somebody to take me home to come back here to get my car. Like, I don't have no car. I just, I just think that it's, you know, it, it'll be easier for me to get $250 to take the car out in the morning. Yeah. Stay here, whatever I need to do, even, even. Um, you're probably your best bet. You don't want to be trying to stay around over here, only because they're going to jack it up. Right, three, one, two, two. If, if whoever's dropping you off, there's a double tree eating down right by. Uh, where the BMV is? Yeah. yeah. Cool. What is it? Oh, it's an intox. Two are sleeping. 445. Um, there's a double trading in town. There's also a uh, Marriott over there, too. How far is that to? 4345. You close? Okay. I guess, like, can he just come in here? Or he he in uh, is he here? He's five minutes away. Okay. Uh, if he pulls into the parking lot, there's two glass doors right here. Okay. Um, he could just go through those, and then I'll meet. She him says like, if you if you pull up to the parking lot, there's two glass doors, and then they'll meet you there. Yeah. The thing is that you need to just like show your ID so that they can release me to you. They just need somebody to release me to. Okay. So, should I send her out there, like, in two or three minutes? Okay, her name is Officer Taylor. All right, all right. Like, in, like in two or three minutes, he'll be out there. Okay. But you're saying that, yeah. How far is Neptune? Neptune. Uh, um, I don't know from here. Probably 15, 20 minutes. So it's not that far. Uh, it might be. Yeah, it might be twenty minutes. Um. How about Titan Falls? That's closer. Seven point eight miles. Um. Yeah. That is. Yeah. Uh, Eaton Town is closer as well. Yeah, that's basically right around the block. Eaton Town's a or, block. Yeah, Long yeah. Branch is also two, two um, you know, towns over. They have like um, members exclusive for Red Roof. So oh, okay. I just know yeah, there's one Titan Falls. And Titan Falls. I don't know what's there's closer next to them. Probably Titan Falls. You got your key card thing? Yeah, just put it against the phone. No, there's a little thing out there. There's a little thing. Is it? It looks like this. But it's not red. You just go like that. It's like the firehouse one. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Is there a little red light? No. No, yeah, there is. It might be green, though. Just go look at it. 
I should probably show <laughs> You can just do it from here. What? You can just do it from here. Yeah, I don't think he knows like what's going on. Oh, where to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take it. I got you. Is it all nonsense? Yeah, they make full confidence. Okay. I have no idea what's going on, to be honest with you. customer's fault, right? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to call. I'm going to call back then because I, you already told me that, so I guess I'll call back in 24 more hours. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. No, Manny's here. He's coming to get me. He's like two minutes away. I'll be out in a few minutes. Bye. No, I'll be outside to see you. I'll be right there. I'm going to see you right there. Bye. I'll be right outside. I'm going to see you in a few minutes. What do you mean? I'm waiting for you. Why just can't, why you just can't wait for me? Why you just can't wait for me to come outside? I'll be right there. Bye. I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Bye. We'll talk outside. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, bye. I heard. I heard. No. Yes, goodbye. Okay, bye. Yeah, I love you. Bye. I, I said that I was. Goodbye. No, nigga, I'm not in no conditions to do that. I don't give credit. I'm not giving. I'm not giving. I'm not giving credit, I'm saying that it's here. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Thank you. Just. Uh, I have a paper. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead. Thank you. so that I can meet you. No, where are you so I can meet you? I'm coming out right now. I get that, but I'm telling you that I'm coming. You, you, I love you. Can you just wait for me to come out and can you stop coming at me because I have so much. We can't even go home right now. Like I have so many other things to worry about. Like stop. But I'm trying to resolve everything. I'm trying to solve everything. It's hard for me. 
you want. Of course. I didn't hear you because I didn't hear you. His phone number, I can hear it from if you keep the room. Sorry, what was your phone Yeah, I got it. Just children? Yeah, no worries. All right, I'm just gonna have you sign this, uh, read this first, right. and then um, sign it if you want to take her. All right. So that's good. All right. And then I just have to have you print the name and everything. Go ahead and read this. Uh, so I, I'll just I would read it. I yeah. Know. Um, it's basically saying if she drives in the next twelve hours, um, you, you could also get charged, charged with. Right, yep. That sounds good. Congrats. Sir. I'll take a picture of this too? Yeah, I can make you a copy after. I'll take a picture. Okay. Okay. And then I just have to have you fill that out and then sign. Yep. Yeah. Sign there, just saying that you're like taking her. Yep, yep. Uh, that's it. That's it? Yep. Thank you. She'll be on in just a second. Hello. Do you want to say her card or just casually? Casually. Alright, thank you. Bye. Um, these are your tickets. Do you want me to go through them with you? Okay. Um, the court date is. July 19th, 2023, but this, at 4 o'clock. But this could get moved, right? If I have yep, you could. So there's a, number, there's a number on the back of all of them. Um, you could just give them a call or have your attorney. Okay. Give them a call. Or even I can give them a call. You can give them a call. And request for a pushback yep. until I get an attorney. And then yep, one. yep. Or even the first court date, then I could get the attorney so I could just. Yeah. Okay. All right, Thank any so uh, questions? No. Okay. Because he told me it's casual now. Okay. Thanks. Yep, no problem. Yeah.